Um, I think Aegis has a very interesting choice. Definitely. Pardon me if I do not call Aegis Watch's moves the correct thing, because I'm still not quite 100% sure on all the input of the character. But anyways, coming straight into Shield Sense. It's generally um, a very good form to be in, in field for the character, but it is very laggy. Ooh, nice to use the iframes right there. Prusak, having your attack buff a little bit right there. <laughs> nice use of the uh, counter frames. Whenever Aegis Watch is in Shield Sense, he has counter frames the entire time. So, things like that side right there just aren't going to be able to apply. Hufun going with Tatsu now, able to get him out of that field first. And Faceback trying to get some use out of the um, the low sense there, because that low sense is a very interesting property, just avoiding both highs and lows, so. Faceback doing some nice area control, especially in the area with the, uh, that 8Y, um, with the miss from Sacred Sword as well. Dragonite actually pushing out back again. Ooh, okay, so Boom able to work around the flash cannon and do some big damage. Okay, that's a little odd. So, usually Heat Wave causes an attack debuff, but it actually did not apply. Um, is that a thing? Um, Kevin, to the lab. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so that's actually very strange. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, because I know Aegis Watch's whole enhanced state is all based on buffs. If he has any buff, he goes into enhance. But he didn't go into a... He didn't get any debuff at all when he was enhanced. That's very strange. Anyways, sorry, I got a little bit fixated on that. But Fumu able to quickly take that round, putting on his huge pressure. I think that's a huge thing for boys against that. He just, once he gets in, I think he'll have an easier time, because... He has access to a really strong counter in the form of Flare Blitz. Who actually go, able to go in before the Shield Sand counter is activated? Uh, here we go. Paper Sack going into um, first now. Oh man, there's the missing. I still need to figure out what triggers that. I'm not quite sure how it is if it's like Smog or if it gets attacked. Oh, yeah. That was, that was a um, that, definitely a valiant effort by Fumu try and get it from the air, but those iframes last like the entire animation. It's a really long animation. It's it's kind of a little bit ridiculous, but I mean just the character. Okay, so there's like setting up into uh, setting up the field phase. Keeping her attack buff active a lot. That's very good management. I'm gonna pop Eevee. See what we can make out of this situation. Now going into burst here. Ooh, how much is he gonna do? Ooh, lots of damage right there. We can continue the combo. Oh, but can't get the reset. Oh, the grab just barely missing. Oh, that is the punishable version there. And that's gonna be a lot of damage. That grab does quite a hefty amount. Oh, nice Dragonite you uh stall for time right now. Now Fu has to get through all of this. Not take a single hit. Ooh, okay, let's get the top. That's gonna be huge. And the heat wave being active just enough to be able to snag that round right there. All right, so now Paper uh, Fumu is gonna be winning the first round. I wonder if Paper Sack. Gonna... And she's gonna stick to it. Okay, I'm glad to see that. I really think she uh, she's gonna be able to do it. I think she has. She's definitely getting an idea of the area control factor of H slash because he has, he has some pretty really big um, hitboxes like um, say 8Y, um, Sacred Sword, um, and just other things like that, and all the lasers in shield form, and of course that miss as well. That's a huge trap that can activate. And definitely making use of her um, shield uh, shield phase, shield stance, I guess. As you can see, she goes into um, Iron Head and cancels it immediately to get into it. I think that's the quickest way that Aegis Hush can get into it. Make good use of her 2x as well as an approach option. Uh, it does an interesting cross up there with the 8y. 
and there we go. So that that 8Y is just incredibly good um, airspace control. So I'm telling you uh, Chandelier's 8Y. Dragonite coming up to play. Not quite getting too much use out of it, but we're stacking it and walking back. And with that um, side JY, I'm gonna get that face and go to first as well. Ooh, nice Brave Bird right there. So Brave Bird, he's taking a lot of use out of it. Um, going over Age Attacks 2, which might be a bit of a bad habit from Paper Stack. You're using it a bit recklessly as a heavy approach option. I suppose it is safe, I believe, minus 4 is what I saw from it. So. It is a safe option, but Fumu is definitely recognizing it. Nice, going over the Shadow Sneak. And he goes for a reset here. Now Fair Attack gonna go into her burst. Gotta respect this burst. Um, making good use of the 4X. That's a very, um, very sneaky move in, um, whenever Aegis Hawks is in because it actually does counter Pierce. Um, you wouldn't think it would. I don't know, to me it seems like a very a move that shouldn't counter pierce, but it does. Something you have to respect. Oh, Fumu putting the, all the damage on the board. So not opting for the heat wave that time. I think he knows what happened last time and is not risking it again. How um paper sack how uh advanced it with this age in the future. Of course since it's a round robin, she's gonna get lots of practice with it.